So that was an F, so I can... Dudes, how's it going? This is a... I was going to say it's a beautiful day in Leeds today, but it's... It's bloody miserable. Anyhow, come in my man shed. It's a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm, I really want to focus just on this pedal. It's probably the most useful pedal I have, other than a tuner, right? And I get asked about it all the time. People are like, how are you doing that thing? And I'm like, oh, it's this pedal. Now I have actually done a video on this pedal before, but I get asked so many times about it. I just wanted to do another one that was a little bit better quality. Um, and then maybe go into some of the, some of the, uh, the functions on it that I use. Um, Okay, you guys. And now I'm too low. God damn it! <laughs> I've got the pedal. It's called an Electro Harmonics Freeze pedal. Um, I'm not affiliated with Electro Harmonics at all, so I get nothing out of making this video other than spreading good bassy vibes with you guys. It's a really useful pedal um, for, for when you're practicing. You know, and, and I'll show you why. Oof, actually, I've only got this for a few more days and then it's gonna go to its, its new owner. So I'll use this. Sorry, new owner of this bass. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get myself one of these fretlesses, by the way. If you didn't check it out, I did um, a video on this fretless the other day and uh, put it on the YouTube channel. So if you wanna check it out after, after you've checked out this video, go watch it, because it's just like, oh man. It's just such a beast of a fretless. Oh, I've got such a sniffly nose. Have you guys got like the, in the UK, cheapest creepers. Landlord. Hey Gary, how's it going mate? Check it out. That's what it does, that's the pedal. So I'm not playing anything, it gives me the ability to. So what I'm doing there is using it as a sustain pedal. And that's essentially what it is. It's a sustain pedal. You know, like a piano when you play a chord, you hold the sustain pedal down, you play a chord and it keeps ringing. And then when you release the sustain pedal, it cuts off. That's exactly what this is doing here. It's exactly the same. So I hold a note, put my foot on it, hold it down. And then I can practice. So that was an F so I can. And what it does, it gives context to my notes. And this is why it's really important. This is why it's, for me, in terms of being able to practice um, in a way that I can get a group of notes, let's call that group of notes a scale, right? I can get a group of notes. Okay, I can get a C major scale and I can give it context. So what does a C major sound like over a C root. The reason this is important is because any scale is just a bunch of notes until you give it some context underneath. So for instance, if we take that C major, let's give, let's play a C note underneath. Okay, that's our C note, right? We're gonna play a C major over a C note. Great, okay. Now, if we change the context that that C major um, is playing on top of, then that scale is going to sound completely different. So let me give you an example of this. I'm going to play an E note, right? So here we go. So this is a low E. Now I'm sustaining that note with the pedal, I'm holding it down. And on top of that E note, I'm now gonna play a C major scale. Same bunch of notes that you've just heard, okay?
Did you check that out? Like that sounded completely different. So when you're learning a scale, it really, really matters that you can hear it against some kind of context because a scale is just a bunch of notes until it has context. So that is why this pedal is killer for doing that because it gives you the ability to create context for you know your scale or your arpeggio that you're practicing. Now the other cool thing that you can do with this pedal is that you can practice standards with it, okay? So let's take something like Autumn Leaves, okay? Um, the first chord is C minor, so we can hold down a C minor. Gives us our C minor. Now I can play some C minor type of vibes over the top of it, okay? Then it moves to an F dominant. And then it moves to a B flat major. So what I'm doing there is kind of playing rubato, so stretch time through the piece. I'm holding down chords, I'm sustaining them with the pedal and then I'm playing over them using the information in context. Having the ability to do that and practice in this way is gonna be really, really valuable for you. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with Electro Harmonics at all, so I get nothing if you go out and check out or buy one of these pedals at all. I just, all I get is that you can, you know, you use the pedal and you're like, Scott, you were right, that's a killer pedal and it's gonna really help my bass playing. So definitely check them out. There may be some other pedals like this on the market that you might wanna check out, but as far as I know, this is the only one. Um, if you do know of any pedals like this, let me know in the comments um, because the other guys will be able to see that and they'll be able to, you know, check out what you think. So let me know in the comments if you do know any alternatives to that pedal or whether you've had any experience with this pedal as well, because as far as I know, um, it's the only one out there like it. Um, also, if you think of any other pedals that may be useful in terms of becoming better as a musician that you want to highlight, put it in the comments. Uh, other people can read them and they may be able to check out the, the pedal that you're um, that you're wanting to highlight. And also, I'm gonna read the comments and if it's a cool pedal, I might make a video like this on it as well. That would be wicked. Now, while I've got you, I also wanna let you know that we've got a really, really special offer running over at scottsbassassons.com right now. Um, if you grab an annual membership, um, you also get a 14 day free trial, obviously, so you can check it out. But this offer that's on runs out in a few days time. So um, go to scottsbassassons.com, check it out to grab the offer before we end it. And uh, yeah, and hopefully I will see you on the inside. Oh, wow, your breath is a bit smelly today. Say bye, George. Mm, that isn't helping. The breath doesn't, it's not good, dude. It's not good. See you later, guys. Uh, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.